Hi guys, it's Anilius and welcome back to, of course, Hearts of Iron number four. We're going to be carrying on playing here as Estonia. All right, game is loading. Shouldn't take too long, but as you can see, what did we do last time? We basically acquired new lands. We acquired, of course, here the United Kingdom as our latest acquisition here. Now, since then, we actually, as you can see, we'll have actually joined in, in the war further down, but actually we do see a call to arms from other parties. As far as I'm aware, I'm already engaged in that conflict down here. So we're just trying to basically help out here. We do see here that the, is it the British? No, it's the Spanish. The Spanish Navy is being engaged by the Portuguese, but of course the Portuguese are being supported by the Germans, as well as of course our own submarines are engaging here as well. Um, if I look at the, what's happening in the air, we should of course see that we've got all of our air forces operating in this region here. Now we're basically flying over Ireland here. We're also flying over Iberia and so forth, just to basically try to keep the enemy from actually using its uh, various different units. Now what's the range of this unit? At the moment it doesn't say, so let's just keep that clear for now. Let's get the ball rolling once again. Now actually one thing I actually wanted to do, uh, Okay, let's have a look at that in a minute. So this doctrine, have we got enough points for this? It looks like, yep. Air doctrine, I cannot do anything else with. Land doctrine, ooh, Pearl Harbor has fallen. Okay, so we're basically at the, uh, at the uh, maximum already of this. It's just a naval doctrine we basically have to keep an eye on here. And if we look closely at this, we will see that we're actually at the top. We have got enough points to do something here, but I can as well basically have a look within here to see what I can do. As you can see, my war support is really, really high. Stability is really, really good as well. Um, we've, of course, got a treaty here with the Portuguese, which is fine. I'm happy with that. I could invest points into here, some of my allies. Um, I don't think that's necessary, to be honest. Uh, so just for now, going to leave this as is. It says no regions or anything assigned here. Where are you? Over here. Well, I'm going to leave you there, to be honest. Okay, so where are we? We are over here. Okay, because I acquired this land here, I don't need to do anything with them, to be honest. Um, there's an air base here. And then from there, of course, I can fly over there and do air superiority as before. Okay, so it's only that one that we basically have got to deal with as such. All right, resources. We got a shortage in chromium. Let's import this from our good friends here, the Germans. Yeah, we got a shortage in terms of steel, it looks like. I thought we would have alleviated that already. Now, of course, I've got a surplus. Thank you very much. Make up your mind, you would say, but okay. Um, Japan, we're importing, as you can see, rubber from. Aluminum, we basically got a surplus, as you can see. I'm reducing it slightly. So let's have a quick look here at my production queue. As you can see, I've got my light tanks being produced here. I've got my medium tanks being produced there. And it says I need 38 of those. I do want to basically switch these over to the light tanks fully. Because if I actually look at my divisions here, sorry, here. So if I look closely at all my divisions that actually use those tanks, it's only these two here. And if I basically were to collapse or basically re yeah, get rid of one of these, I probably would be able to, yeah. instead of getting rid of it, why don't I just convert it? That's probably easier. As you can see, that will basically give me the excess tanks that I need to be able to resupply the other unit. All right, two on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's happening here? Hold on, hold on. Where are you at the moment? I'm, I'm not sure why all of a sudden that was collapsing fully, but okay. It seemed to indicate I was losing everything on that particular unit as such, which was a bit peculiar. Okay. Now I should be able to resupply that unit quite quickly. 
what I wanted to do, I wanted to basically switch the production of these medium tanks back over to, in this instance, the, the, the light tanks here. Reason being, I want to basically start creating some new light tank divisions. So as you can see these units here, I want to basically set this to create, let's say, a good 15 of these. And then I want to set them to become available right around here. Interesting that they're actually that's seen as being territory where I can actually place them already. Now, you might wonder why I want to do that. I want to basically make sure that I can get the resistance in these regions down to pretty much zilch. And this should hopefully help with that. Okay, as you can see, I've got a shortage of fuel and I do need to alleviate that. One of my generals is hurt, it looks like. Uh, I can import more from Romania. Let's import even more. And yet more. <clears throat> I just want to get that back to the max as quickly as I can. If we look at what we're doing in terms of training and so forth here, we got various different elements uh, currently being researched, as you can see here already. So that's good. Um, just double checking where all my forces are. So we basically, of course, got these units here on this front line here. Let's double check. This is the brown unit. So that's this front line, if I'm not mistaken. What number of army does it say that there is? Yeah, the brown units are spread from left to right, as I can see. Just going to set that to be focusing on one part of the front here. This is going to be pretty tough to fight our way through here. These guys are next to it. These guys are here in this region, as you can see already. Let's try to retake that city here. Okay. It's no sense in wasting resources when we don't necessarily have to. And in reality, if I basically look at where my marines are, I'll have a look at that shortly. Same is happening to these guys as actually was happening to some of the other units. I'm not sure what to do with that as such. Are we getting these guys ready to do the invasion here? Maybe I shouldn't do this one. Maybe what I should do, I should get them ready for a naval invasion from elsewhere. Let's say I'm going to do it from here into there. I'm going to assign all the units to there. So we're basically going to see those units moving back to a new position. These guys, I'm not sure what's going on here, but as you can see, they're, they're suffering from the fact that they're in the current position here. So we're going to create here, I'm going to create this fallback line and we're going to actually allocate them fully to that line as such. These units, they are doing okay for now. These guys, I don't like what's going on with these guys. So again, what I'm going to do with these guys, I'm going to create yet another fallback line here as well. Parallel to that, I'm actually going to allocate all the units to there. I know it's not quite the same as basically being fully on the front, but yeah, sometimes we just need to basically take up a better position here. Okay, we decrypted the cipher of the United States. We can actually start, of course, Canadian cipher next. If we look at the naval battles here, this one was, okay, this one was basically a defeat because they took out some submarines, it looks like, or so some transports, I should say. But for the rest, everything has been successful as such. What have we done here? We haven't done much here, as you can see, unfortunately. Ireland. Is Ireland part of the Allies? I'm not sure. No, it looks like they're not. I can work on improving my relationships with them. I bet they would like to get their hands on, of course, Northern Ireland here, but uh, yeah, for now that's in our hands. So as you can see, we're basically using this particular army group here to defend this territory here. This is used to defend this bit of territory here. 
probably in reality I should extend that to cover the full bit here. That's covering, in this instance, uh, Iceland. So let's call this Iceland army. Okay, and then with this one here is covering Greenland. Now, that was my strategic reserve. Now I'm basically calling it Greenland army. Okay, now I do have a relatively experienced unit in here, so it might be sensible for me to reallocate that to a different location. All right, these are still moving, fine. Okay, let's have another look at this guys here. So these guys are okay for now. Supplies are not the greatest as you can see. Because so probably what I want to do with these guys is I want to basically say, let's go from here and do an invasion over here. Okay. Looks like I can actually do something with this guy here. This guy is purely focused on an infantry, so I'm going to actually give him an infantry booster. This guy is cool for now. This guy is good, he's a ranger. Yeah, these guys are also a ranger, as you can see. <clears throat> He's getting 81% of the supplies that they need in reality. Okay, so let's double check again. So these guys here are moving. They're just taking a bit of their time. These guys here are moving back as well, as you can see. And maybe what I should do with them is that maybe I should tell them to basically cover part of that front here. And if I then do that and I allocate their units to there, that should have put them on transports and so forth and they should then make their way into Portugal. Okay. Now what you'll see here this looks to be finally multiple units against one. Okay, fine. I've got no planes here. Interesting. Maybe I should send some planes here. Okay, that's still covering the northwest here. These guys are getting ready here for that invasion. Ten transports are needed for that. As you can see, I've got a pretty decent number of transports already. And as you can see, finally our fuel situation is improving enough for us to see some effects over there as well. <clears throat> now the fact that I've actually joined the Allies should of course also mean that I will actually be able to do something with them. Okay, these guys are going to reinforce that one. Perfect. There you go. We're back down to ten. You don't want to overextend it too much. This is four. Let's reinforce that one there. What is this? Why is there an American flotilla operating here? Home fleet, home fleet. So are they stuck here or something? I'm not quite sure what to think of that. <clears throat> Lots of Americans are being taken out, as you can see. We got Portuguese here, we got Germans here. As you can see, there's still fighting going on down here as well. Okay, so as you can see, our units are on that secondary line here now, which is perfect. Do we need to do anything else in here in terms of the espionage? I don't think so. I got most of this. Just the decryption, maybe we can basically enhance even further. OK, 
Okay. So did we acquire that back here? Um, looks like. Wild beast. Okay, so they've been reinforcing bits here as well, it looks like. Look at that, they now got five of them there. So where's... Ah, okay, they're still in transports at the moment. They'll do okay for now. Come on, these guys, can I tell them to... They're doing okay, these guys are... These guys, can I tell them to kick off? Yeah, they need a bit more prep time for what it looks like. So these guys, I'm gonna actually set them to do a naval invasion as well, right next door. And we're gonna basically assign, let's say the lower half up to number 20 there, to that invasion. Then I'm gonna set up a secondary one. Others, to go from Bordeaux onto this side. And we're gonna assign these units to there. Okay, so that's basically what we want to basically get kicked off. Again, they need prep time for that, 28 days and 38 days. <clears throat> Takes a little bit of time, but yeah, we'll, we'll get this going soon enough, I hope. Convoy lost for the Spanish, yes. As is to be expected. Look at that. So that's the British. And look at how unhealthy they are. At least it looks to be unhealthy. Uh, so their strength is still pretty pretty good. So they're fighting against the Germans and we are supporting them with tons of submarines. But they're being supported by the Spanish submarines, as you can see. Unfortunately, there were some losses here, it looks like, which is... Yeah, it happens. Okay, let's engage them there as well. So we got advanced radars, which will basically give me also air-to-ground radar, air-to-air radar, and of course the integrated fire control option. So we're pretty much done all of them here now. We can of course go for the next one in terms of rubber production. Okay, let's keep on pushing against the various different locations that we see here. Okay. I do want to borrow that one from there. Units are moving around, as you can see. We still see substantial numbers of units being destroyed here. Unfortunately, there were some losses here. There were some planes lost, Portuguese planes. There were some yeah, convoys that were lost. But of course, as you can see on the other side, they lost quite a number of destroyers. So they've got all their... Uh, they need support equipment, of course. Production of support equipment needs to be prioritized. Okay. I'll reduce that number slightly. As you can see here, we got a big stockpile of these, it looks like. I'll reduce the production of trucks somewhat. Trains, yes, as you can see, I got a stockpile of those as well. Jet fighters, yeah, I got a decent stockpile of those. I'm building um, 38 per day. But then again, I've got 51 factories working on that. So in reality, that should be fine. I'll reduce that to 55 in total. What's happening to our production here? Okay, so as you can see, we're building radars in various different locations. Now let's, let's double check. I'm building them there already. I've got a relatively high level here. 
Can I build them higher? Yes. Okay. Probably I want to build some over here as well, making sure I cover that part of the world. But in reality, I want to also have a look at basically what I can do around factory production. As you can see, this is damaged, this is damaged. I need to basically get those repaired quickly. But I also want to get those new factories up and running relatively quickly if I can. As you can see, I got a substantial amount of factories up and running, 104 in total, as you can see. Uh, from exports, I get 40 from exports. That's a pretty good number. Could I potentially build more? Looks like I can. And I can actually build in the states of my allies, it looks like. African Union, they gained control of. Interesting. Really interesting. So, let's have another quick look here. So as you can see, I've actually added a few here. Let's add them back to the top here. <clears throat> Again, we're repairing some here in various different locations. That looks to be Norway. And of course, the quicker I can alleviate that support equipment issue. Could I ask for land leases? Possibly. Request land lease. I need support equipment. Sweet, thank you very much. Request land lease. I need some support equipment. Nice. These guys here, I request the land lease. I need support equipment. It's a smaller number, but still a most definitely a workable number. Nice. So what that should do, it still says support equipment needed here. Interesting. Um, yeah, they need to be trained anyway. So they're basically in terms of training, they're really, really green. They're going to be ready by January, it says. So maybe I should expand this to be about 20 units because it takes such a time to basically yeah, recruit them, train them up and so forth. Let's overwhelm them there. Okay. Whenever they're ready. Right, these guys are getting in position now. Oh, insufficient naval supremacy. Ah, we only got 9%, really? That's interesting. Uh, let's have a look at what's happening to our air force here. Let's uh, get that supremacy in our hands. got my actual strategic bombers located. Okay, they're all the way there. So why are they basically fighting over there? I'm not sure. Let's just keep them located here. Let's cancel our mission. We're standing by. Fine. Let's go back here. Okay, so higher rockets, they can fly in here. Perfect. Have 
we got more of them. These are already going to, as you can see, the East Coast here. They did seem to damage some of the infrastructure there. Same here in New England. <laughs> okay. Why am I not using them from here at all? Interesting. Probably should. Perfect. I probably even forgot I actually had them operating there, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do with these guys, I'm actually going to send them here, and I guess I'm going to operate over there as well. So what we should now see, we should now, of course, see our naval supremacy increasing here. What's our supremacy? Um, Naval supremacy stands at 13.6 uh, point whatever it is. Okay, so these guys I can reassign to here. Where are they operating at the moment? They're operating down there. So select them. Where are we currently operating? Operating in the assigned areas. And where are the assigned areas? Okay, let's set these guys to rebase firstly to here. Southwest England is where they're going to be rebasing to. So this one's sunk several ships as you can see. Let's set these to repair priority high. They will go to the Scottish Highlands at the moment, as you can see. Assisted in the sinking of a couple of the destroyers. Okay, these... no, no, sorry, hold on. These guys here, they will be used to reinforce this unit here. That of course firstly means I need to move them here. Let's anyway have a look at actually what we can do. So what's happened here? Indochina has been taken over by them already. Pearl Harbor took away. And actually, as you can see, this is now Japanese territory. Interesting. The Japanese. They are not allied to us. We can ask them for docking rights. We can work on improving our relations with them. Perfect. The British Raj is still in existence, as you can see as well. Look at all that fighting that's basically planned over here. You can see Canadians and so forth positioned there. What a task force operating here as well. Double check for a second. What have we got here? These will reinforce that one. I say anything below 10 should be used for the purpose of reinforcing. We should at least have a, 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 a wolf, wolf pack of at least 10 units, so to speak. I don't need to operate there anymore as such. This is still good to operate in. In reality, I want to add even more territory to here. Cool. Repairing at the moment, that's fine. So if I look at, look at my production queue here, I can actually set how many I want to make available for the purpose of repairs. I'm actually going to make the full capacity available in reality. I know they'll delay other things as such, but I do think that's actually quite beneficial if we can actually leverage that capacity for the production here.
Okay. All good thus far. Just I need to get these numbers up here in reality. Yes, the invasion has, has happened already there, but it uh, was probably a bit premature, to be honest. But let's keep on pushing into here. Let's keep on pushing into here. Let's push into there as well. Let's try to push down, or up there, maybe I should say. Do I actually have supply planes? Wow. Let's get some more aluminum from here. I don't need anything over there, it looks like. And of course I need chromium all of a sudden again. Yeah, it's just up and down for some of these, unfortunately. Okay, let's try to push into there. I know we're low in supplies, but... I do rather think we can actually win this relatively quickly. And of course, once we get our hands on some of the supplies, that'll be even better. Let's have a look at our armies here. So we got the various different people involved here already. So let's actually have a look at our Admiral. So this gentleman here. So, I've got them set. Up, have I got them set up as the, ex the marine expert? Submarine attack is here. Infantry attack is here. Maximum naval range is extended already, and land doctrine cost is reduced. So these kind of like have no purpose anymore at some point, isn't it? It's such a pity. Okay, so that's a win. And that should be a win as well. Let's get that final decryption bit in here. Okay. That's a bit of a tougher cookie to crack, it looks like. Okay. So we did lose a unit here, unfortunately. And it looks actually like I'm going to lose that entire battalion, or the entire army. Even. Okay, let's focus on the defense here for just a moment. I did lose that army. Yeah, with the manpower I've got, that's not really uh, something to be proud about. Okay, so what's happening to my navy here? They're still in the midst of repairing. How are we doing in terms of those repairs? 
As you can see, we see progress here in terms of those repairs. It's uh, taking a bit of time, but we're getting there. South Africa's capitulated. Interesting. So who's... Ah, that's... Looks like Italy's taking over that territory, isn't it? Or Portugal, to be honest. Interesting. Even better. Belgium is still standing here, it looks like. <clears throat> United Kingdom still has some territories here. Even though it says Portugal, in reality these are... Hungarian units, it looks like, yeah. And then, of course, here we got uh, Bulgarian units, we got Italian units, German units, but uh, to be honest, I don't see any Portuguese. Well, I do see some Portuguese, but it's hardly anything here, to be honest. So let's try to focus on what we got here for now. That off in here as well. Okay, if we can cut out of that particular section here, that'd be amazing. a fallback line here. No, the fallback line here. Just these two units. I'm going to actually allocate them to that fallback line briefly. They need to be able to recover a bit. <clears throat> They've been losing manpower. In reality... percent <clears throat> supremacy. Lovely. These guys, they're all located here at the moment. <clears throat> These guys are going to be set to help with the actual works here to try to reduce the resistance that we basically see here as such. Now we're giving Herbert. This is Suppression Army. Okay, so looking at the actual resistance and such, this is now standard at 40%. We should have a compliance flag. As you can see, that's 49%, 27%. So there, there, there's work going on here. So as you can see, that's already at 59, 59, 60. So these bits are compliant already. Or at least compliant enough, 61, as you can see. But I'd like to be able to get it higher in this section here as well. So in reality, I don't necessarily need to focus on this section because that's already mine by, by yeah, natively in mine already. It's just the other parts that I want to basically suppress further. I want to basically get them in the fold as quickly as I can. Okay, let's have another look at these from the perspective of... What we can do in terms of infrastructure here. As you can see, we can improve that here further. Once I've improved that further, I should be able to build more factories and so forth there as well. I'm just going to basically put those towards the top because I do think they will actually be quite beneficial to have. These, as you can see, they're not going to take that long, about a month or so each. Yeah, 
it's still a, a decent amount of time, but if I get myself additional production slots with that, that should be well worth it. Okay, my navy. Still repairing. As you can see, that is progressing on. Okay, medium. Let's now set these guys here to be operating from a different location. I want to move them into southwest England. It's that still that they're repairing on the way to repair. Okay, really? So I'm going to basically say they're going to be able to split off if that's needed. Perfect. Night vision gear, land, night attack is improved. Let's uh, get this researched. Mechanized. I haven't got any mechanized units up and running yet. Should be one of our next things we can actually work on. So that was a loss because we lost some units there. Looking at this closely, all these are okay for now, except for this one, which I want to basically have reinforcing this unit there. No, a varying coast, is that the one? No. Yeah, that one. That will be reinforcing that one as such. So all of these units can be freshly assigned to here. And then from there, they can actually then move to Palma de Mallorca. Okay, so now we actually do see that these guys actually don't need to work on that. They can actually say, focus on here and we actually push right into there along the coast and execute. These marines are still waiting here, waiting for us to get supremacy. And if you look carefully here, you will actually see that we got units now operating here that are looking to basically push some of the enemy back. Okay, <clears throat> the more I can basically collapse this bit here, the better. It basically creates a nice encirclement again. Interesting that there's so many of these units here just holding back, it looks like. Oh, the Germans managed to do an invasion here. Interesting. Portable radios, and that should be the last element, really. Let's have another look at what we can actually do in terms of producing more of those types of units here. All this terrain looks to be busy. Let's have another quick look here. Lapland, Murmansk, Onega. Okay, so as you can see, there's more and more of these already basically in the right hand. 
Trondelag, Norland, Lapland. <clears throat> so, large chunk here already there. Great. We just need to wait for a few more of those states to come through and basically get the right level of compliance there. So hold on, this is compliance. Hold on, why is that at 27%? Ah, okay, because it's relatively new, isn't it? Yes, that makes sense. So we got 40% resistance and we got 35% compliance overall. And civilian oversight is the default. Okay. So we'll allocate these units here to the suppression army. Working on basically suppressing more of that. To be fair, if I actually look at what we're suppressing, I'm doing anything in reality here that is suppressible. As we can see here, we are able to exploit certain gaps in those lines. No clue why they leave the gaps in the lines, but uh, we will see how that goes. Okay, so let's get our, rid of our current orders. Let's say, well, guys, we can basically just transport ourselves over to here. No, not through there. Okay, let's transport ourselves over here first. Let's take our navy. That's our mission. Don't tell me you've got to repair everything first. That would be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? So, Upper Nile and so forth. Is that all Italian there? Yeah, and then Portuguese and more Italy down here. Portugal and then the German Reich. Quite a lot of territory is already being swallowed up here. Large chunks of Germany here, but we are still operating up here, as you can see. And what can we do here? Yeah, I need to basically work further on Norland, Lapland, Nor Norj, and so forth. What is this territory called here? Jutland, Ostland, Westland, Drogladon, Norland. Svealand, Lapland, Nor Norj. Hold on, what is the other ones that I need? Drog As you can see, there's four. Norland, Lapland, Nord Norj, and Trogalag. Trogalag, okay. So these guys... I don't seem to have to need for basically defending this area here, does it? Unless I'm mistaken. Am I misreading it? Or is there just more territory that we just don't see listed here? So it's Trogelag, Nord Norge, Lapland and Nord Norland. Okay, so let's have a look at where our spies are currently operating. This lady here. Yes, you can suppress as much as you want there, but let's move you there. Perfect. Okay. 
More Spanish convoys were destroyed there, it looks like, which is great. lost a bit of land up here but at the same time gained territory down south which is fine Ooh, it would be so amazing if we could take it to Gibraltar here as well look at this so many Spanish ships engaged by our submarines Green water expert, interesting. Fleet protector, blue water expert. Fly swatter. <laughs> I like the title of that fly swatter. Where's that fly swatter one? Oh, that's up here. Naval AA attack, interesting. Uh, screening efficiency, okay. What else is he learning at the moment? Green water expert. Uh, okay, where is that? On the right side here. Shallow water. Oh, okay, yeah, pretty cool. Cold water expert, he's got as well. Blue water expert. <laughs> he's level six at the moment. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. This seems to be going along quite nicely. Why are you retreating here? What, what, what did you suffer losses from? Okay, well, I didn't mean for you to go through there, but thank you very much. I meant for you to go through there. And support that engagement over there. Look at them retreating. Look at them there. Pride of the naval fleet. Ha! Huh. Pride of the fleet, maybe I should say. Alright, let's see what we can do up here. engagements going on. I still haven't figured out how to use the actual nukes. I do need to figure it out at some point. We're 1946 and in reality I probably want to throw the nukes here at the US. That'll be a nice target to throw them at. Okay so they've actually landed there so from there we can actually send them right into here. And from there I just want to give them that little bit of line to defend here. Nothing major. Civil. Okay. 
enemies. Okay. Hold on, why are these guys moving there? Sixth Army, why? Pretty sure the Sixth Army should purely and only be operating here, but okay. To be a bit confusing. Okay, let's focus on getting Seville and so forth. Okay. 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 more marines in the meantime no it's still limited as you can see not enough cap for that to work okay okay engineering company and so forth recon let's boost all of that Majority, we're good now. Ethiopia's capitulated. Nice. Okay. Well, let's do convoy raiding in the region here. Let's again focus on what we got here. We want to make our way south in reality. What do we got here? More of our submarines are engaging in this instance. Look at that. Who was it that sunk this? Sunk by one of my submarines. Well, both of them were sunk by one of some, some of my submarines. But they're really, really old ships, as you can see. They're cruiser hulls of 1936. Then again, if they don't have anything newer, that's not really an issue as such. Okay. Hold on, did I not assign them to that section there? I'm pretty sure I did. Thank you very much. It looks like they pushed back a bit further here, which is a bit of a pity, but... Okay. Okay. 
Baldur, Lola. Ultimately, we want to basically go towards Gibraltar. We want to get Gibraltar in our hands. Let's carry on here. So we're basically making sure that all of the avenues are cut off over here as far as we can see. Let's go to Brega. Let's reduce the length of this line because in reality I don't want to keep it that long. I want to basically keep it up to here in reality only. Okay. I'm pretty sure we'll win that anyways, but it's still nice if we can keep it limited to a smaller region, so to speak. Okay. So that is the Republic of Galiza. Galiza? Has Galicia as a core? Okay, fine, whatever. Alright, let's push into there as well. Okay. The more of these units we can cut off, the better. Portable radios. That should, in reality, be the last one. Why do I want to basically do that? I don't, in reality. So we've got insufficient resource. I need some more steel, it looks like. At least so they say. Let's have a look at my production here. What is damaged? A number of these have been damaged, which is okay. We can repair them relatively quickly. Um, what have we got here? Integration here. Mermel. Memel. So this doesn't cost me other than anything other than basically the, the political power. We get one additional building slot. Is that worth it? Probably not. So in, what is it? This memo here. Get one extra slot. Hmm. Nice. We can build an extra one here. These roads, as you can see, they're still aimed for December. I got some factories here that are high, close to completion. I'm actually moving to, to the top to basically get that done as quickly as we can. Uh, naval battles. Yep, we were aware of that one. South African convoys were lost. Okay. Look at this bit here now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, 
Okay, these guys, if they can help encircle that here, that would be utterly amazing. Encirclement is taking place. And as you can see, we got how many units in here now? Seven? No, six. Five. Unless the numbers have already reduced since. So where Portugal seemed to have been a lost cause, that has changed. Okay. Okay, let's actually engage over there as well. Okay. That territory is pretty much ours already, so that's fine. So now I need to just set new orders for these guys here. And let's first go back to these here. Give them an order to push, 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 push. These guys, we can set those to go here. And then do a push, 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 push from there. Okay, let's keep them all moving as much as possible. Nice, Portugal has been liberated, so to speak. And of course we're working on the expansion of Portugal at the same time. So this I can relocate to there, and then basically this can relocate to there and operate in that region. These guys are already relocating, as you can see. I don't need to do much over there anymore. Uh, I'm going to set these guys to operate here. More operating there as well. Have we got naval base or anything of that sort here? No, I don't have any. Actually, I do have air bases here. Probably don't expand that airbase here in reality. And I want to improve the infrastructure there as well as we work on that anyways. All right. That ought to do. Oh, yes. One second, guys. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Had some uh, family help that I need to provide. That's okay, though. Let's just keep on pushing here. Okay. Yeah, there's not going to be much left of Spain eventually. We decided to get to war with uh, some of the big boys. be doing in terms of our target here. Yeah, that will take a bit of time it looks like. 
that will take a bit of time it looks like okay i will have to work on the excavation here as well huh <laughs> probably a good idea if we basically keep on running out of resources to try to get that balanced I'm not sure whether or not we're needing that directly, so I'm just going to keep them in there for now. We're stockpiling these, but let, let at least one factory basically do something there. Uh, or do I want to just stop the production completely? Yeah, let's stop the production completely. So we're basically reinforcing our production of support equipment. As you can see, this is all going to be the last production element there. We could, of course, ask them for a land lease. Modify incoming land lease. We can ask them for light tanks. They will not send those, so that's fine. We can ask them for additional weaponry, which they're not going to send. Trucks, they're not going to send. Fuel, they're not going to send. AA, they're not going to send. Where have they got a surplus of? I don't know. We're not receiving many units anyways, but still. Let's look at our compliance here. 50% here now, as you can see, 50% there, 40% there. So it's going in the right direction. It's really going nicely in the right direction. I'm just not sure why I don't have to basically get that compliance up so high over here. It really seems to be focused upon this section here, to be honest. But yeah, okay, happy to... Uh, Keep the game going for that purpose. War bonds. Again, I can basically reduce my outgoings towards here. Bring it back to 4%, as you can see. I've got here another site for launching that I basically instituted already. <clears throat> Okay, what's this province called? It's Vesteland. Okay, I'm basically already doing the production in there, as you can see, which I can cancel. And I can, of course, replace it with this, which I can then straight away move to the top. Whoa, what has happened? What's happened? What's happened? <clears throat> so, Spain and Ethiopia, hold on. Uh, this is just the division of national Spain, Ethiopia, and so forth. Um, I could, of course, ask them for the Navy. Now, I've got quite a lot of stuff in terms of points that I need to basically spend on that. Early heavy ship. Well, these are, these are quite expensive, as you can see. That's a bit unfortunate. Can of course ask for the liberation of Galicia. One hundred and seventy-eight points. That is. How many points have I got to spend in reality? Then, of course, I can ask for the liberation of the Basque countries. Okay. I still submit my demand there as well, so that's become Basque territory. I'll 
probably should have said they should be puppeted, but okay, that's fine. Um, I don't really want any of these states here, to be honest, but if I have to go for something, I would say let's go for this territory here at the top. I know the Germans have already demanded that, but okay. <laughs> I'll let them fight it out as such. So which states haven't got a claim, claim on there yet? Murcia. Okay. Granada? Hold on, Granada's got a claim on there already. So as you can see, there's contesting of claims on those territories. Why don't I just take some of their ships? Cruisers. Yeah, no one seems to be having anything else on there. Cool. So, I've got none of the territory here, which is fine. So this is Nationalist Spain here. These are states that... Okay, why are we basically... I should make it into puppets, shouldn't I? Huh. I keep on doing the same thing time and time again. I basically do those silly moves like that. And they just don't make much sense. But okay, that's fine. So my armies here, they can of course relocate to other regions. Where do I need those armies? I probably need to basically base one of some of these armies in various different locations. Let's prepare this one here for a naval invasion from there into there. Of course, these guys, they're going to do an invasion from down here, straight into there. These guys are currently, where are they? Currently over here. It's a real mix, some of these units, in reality. It's not always clear what to do with them. All right, let's prepare an invasion from here into here. And these can prepare an invasion from Liverpool into there. All right, that should do for now. So Spain is gone. It's now been, well, actually there is still a Spain here, but it's a, a different kind of Spain. Request garrison forces. Yes, I can do that with various different allies, as you can see. Ooh. Eleven thousand manpower. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. So, what can we do here? Can we basically see that we're getting closer to this target here, uh, slowly but surely? Fifty percent, sixty-one percent. Yeah, the closer we get these to being where we want them to be the better. These lower regions are not necessarily such a big issue, but these upper regions here, those are the biggest ones I'm concerned about. And we're basically working on basically getting those under our control further and further. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the meantime. In the next time, uh, sorry, see you in the meantime. See you in the next episode. And for now, have a good day. Bye-bye.